Hey everyone, Ray Moonwolf here, and welcome back to my playthrough of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. It's been a while since I recorded an episode, and I figured we'd start things off in Castletown, considering where we were in the chilly Snow Peak uh, region of Hyrule. Now, the reason why I wanted to come here is twofold. First off, there was a shop in town, snooty as all fuck. I never really got the chance to properly show it, but as you can see, Mallow has kind of overtaken it. And now we can go in without worry about having to have our shoes shined or something. And, uh, this is freaky. I didn't mean to do that. Buy one, get one. This is kind of surreal. <laughs> and there's a photo of Mallow, our glorious leader. <laughs> you buy it now if you're smart at Mallow Mart. Welcome, welcome. Grand opening sale going on at Castletown, Mallow Mart. 20% off, 30% off, of course, why not? We look out for you, the hero of discount. That is us, Mallow Mart. Now, before, this guy would have been the epitome of snooty, stuck-up-your-own-ass bullshit. But it seems he's seen a change of things now that the evil baby has taken control. wonder if it's brainwashing. But, anyway. <laughs> There's a Mallow Mart stamp for 50 rupees. There's blue potion, red potion... Bomblings, water bombs, regular bombs, and magic armor. 598 rupees. This would have been like several hundred thousand originally. Now it's affordable. It's quite a bargain when you think how valuable your, your life is. What's a few rupees to stay alive? Well, let's go ahead and take it. We have sold out of magic armor. And we got it. You bought it, you are smart. You bought it at Mallow Mart. Wherein your rupees will become magical. The armor will protect you, so if you get hit, you lose rupees, not health. If you run out of rupees, the armor will go dormant and your movement will become impaired. Alright. So, yeah, that's something that we can actually wear. It's pretty gaudy, all things considered. And, eh... I'm not going to use it, but I kind of wanted to get it just to flex. So, any who's it, that was the first thing I wanted to do while we were here in town. The second is, well, we got to go to Telma's bar. What do you think we were going to be doing? We need, to, we need our hint on where to go next. So, and you can see that people are wielding Mallow Mart shopping bags and the like now in town. It's kind of cool when you think about it. Let's see. I don't need hot spring water. I thought you might sell something else. Let me check my items. Ooh, I am actually dangerously low on arrows now that I think about it. Might need to f buy some arrows or get some from somewhere. I'll probably find some. Anyway, we're in Telma's bar. Let's go ahead and check this out. I wonder if the sacred grove that Russell mentioned is near this mark. Oh really? Sacred grove, eh? Would you care to hear about the sky beings again? No, no, I'm good. Sorry. Link, huh? The beast of Snow Peak has appeared in Zora's domain since its last visit. In the end, the troubles in Hyrule and the events on Snow Peaks were beyond even my imagination. Honestly, there's got to be someone who knows what really happened. Well, you're looking at him. <laughs> ah, any who's it's, we've done what we need to do here. Let's go ahead and head on out to Farron Woods. So, going to go ahead and pull up the map. And not, not Ordonia. Show me the portal. North Farron Woods. And away we go.
Ah, it feels nostalgic. Any who's it? Back to human form. It's been a while since we took a walk in the forest, huh? Yes, and how our world has changed. Yes, it is certainly big. Say, do you know about the far side of this deep gorge? Some th say there's an ancient temple deep in the woods that guards the sacred power. The ancestors of the Hellenians created the temple. Signs of their civilization, ancient but very sophisticated, are everywhere. If someone could obtain the power of those ancient people, well, I'm sure it would go a long way towards saving Hyrule. Link, would you take on this task? Would you cross the gorge and find the ancient temple sleeping... Ancient power sleeping in the temple? Sure. I knew you would. Cross the gorge? Just use my partner here. Do you doubt my partner's skills? He flies like a dream, believe me. Well, you'll definitely make it across the gorge. Wait and see, my doubting friend. Well, golden cuckoo, eh? Ooh, you got some air on ya. But yeah, this is how we get across the gorge. All right. Let me just place you down. Activate that. Pick you up again, and fly across. All right. Put away, and pick you up once again. All right, and whoop. Oh, I forgot that I believe we have another uh, weapon skill to learn later on. But for now, let's go into the Hidden Grove. We can pick up whatever we need later on. But first of all, look who's back. This little shit. And it's puppety friends. All right. Oh. Hey, well, look at that. Arrows, just what I needed. Because we're going to be making use of them. And, of course, they're just going to keep spawning. So, an interesting way of knowing where the Skull Kid is... ...is... ...at night, you can see his lantern off in the distance sometimes. Like there. And then you can slowly hear him, and smack him. Uh-huh. And then we just follow the path that has the mushrooms. Ugh. Lovely. Here. 
There is a little secret right here. Might as well grab this. Grab it. And we get some bombs. Nice, I was actually getting a little low. Put away. You suck. Aha! Oh, come on! There we go. You can see him over there, and you shoot him, and then he fucks off. Ah. This guy's a little bit annoying, <laughs> I won't lie. To be, on to be perfectly honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the Lost Woods in this game. It's not my favorite part. So, I believe... We just need to follow the lights still. Aha! And the secret to this is that he is going to be up here? No? Huh. I thought I had the right path. Oh. Here we go. Now I know what I'm doing wrong. Now I believe he's going to be up here. Yes! Gotcha, you little shit. All right, now we just follow him. Oh, he just fucking disappeared. But the path that he went to is here. Oh, he's angry again. <laughs> now this fight can be a lot easier. Because you just need to shoot him with your arrows. And there's two. Sheesh, even more puppets. And... Gotcha! <laughs> That's three. This this fight, this time around, is a lot easier than it was with the wolf. <laughs> that was fun! I'll tell you what, I'll let you into a secret place. Well, thank you very much. And I believe this is the way forward. What do you know? We're back here, in a sense.
back into this ancient temple. The sacred ancient forest. So this is what they were talking about. Alrighty, so... We now... Can see where we need to get... What we need to do, in a sense. Drop down. Yes, I see you, slug. Or snail. So... For those who are familiar with Ocarina of Time... This'll be a little nostalgic. So what we have to do is... Place the Master Sword back into its pedestal. And that gets rid of that statue. Which we can now reach. Alrighty, so with that... We go ahead and roll our way back there. Unfortunately... We have a bit of a problem. Oop. Oh boy! doing that. It is so much easier to do it as a wolf, in my opinion. <laughs> but, any who's it. We got that taken care of. Back to human form. Although I'd love to stay as a wolf more, lo more often, but sadly, that's not the case. Regardless, we climb back up here. And we go ahead and enter through these doors. As there's something strange about them. Welcome to the Temple of Time. Back in the past. And there's something interesting here. In the present, there was the male uh, snail. In the past, there was the female snail. Just something interesting I thought you'd like to know about. If you were going to complete Agatha's little collection. So, any who's it, we roll our way up. And the pedestal is here again. Once again, the sword goes back into its sheath. Or pedestal, to be precise. And that opens up a way forward. And hello, Uku and Uku Jr. Well, someone's excited to go into this place. Well, I can't say I blame ya. This is actually one of the more interesting temples. It's kind of a mi mix mash of some older styles. Definitely reminds me of the Tower of the Gods in Wind Waker. Which I think came... Yeah, that came uh, before this one, if I recall right. But anywho, there's all sorts of different architecture and the like. There's this main doorway. Link, don't you think there's something odd about that statue? The groove and in, in the grove and in the temple entry, there were always matching ones on each side, but there's only one here. Why don't you use your senses to take a look around? 
Okay. Might as well do that. And yeah. I knew it. There was one here, one more here originally. We need to find the other statue in this temple that matches that one. Alrighty then. So, for starters, there's going to be a lot of uh, lever and uh, switch based puzzles in this dungeon. Which will raise and lower different things. This dungeon's also actually a lot more straightforward than a lot of the other dungeons. Oh! Um, not so fast. At last, this is it. This is where I've been trying to get to. The ancient technology of our people sleeps in this place. We searched all over and now we're so close. I can smell it! Once we find that thing, we can go home at last. Oh, gracious, yes! Um, young man, we're so close, so please help us find what we're looking for. You are reunited with Uku! Alrighty, thank you. Smacking some bots, says I need some health. And while we're here... Gonna go ahead and light this up. And we got ourselves a chest, which contains... a small key. Alrighty. With that, we can go forward into this into this dungeon proper. At least I think we can. <laughs> oh! Lovely! Creepy crawlies are in this place. Uh, not what I was looking forward to, but... Yeah, this place is, is going to be filled with spiders, so if you're arachnophobic, watch out. Although technically, they don't even have uh, eight legs, so they aren't even technically true spiders. So what the heck, Nintendo? But anyway, I think we're going to actually end it off here, and in the next episode, we will go through the dungeon proper and see what awaits us. So, until then, this has been Ray Moonwolf, signing out. Later guys, and have a good day.